Good morning, good afternoon, dear friends, colleagues, people of light who believe that there is room for sustainable future for this planet. Thank you for inviting me to address this distinguished audience. And let me share some of uh, thoughts with you about the possibility that China and the EU have for a better world. Uh, Europe and China are for me two lungs of the same body, different, but bonded by land, by rail, only when they breathe together in its full capacity, the body can act and deliver well. And here is the first opportunity, better connectivity to enable direct trade, collaboration and engagement among people. When people engage, they do not fear each other anymore. When Europe and Asia develop mutual respect and define the zones of engagement, a great prosperity will come to the planet. I know that, I feel that. Asia, the keeper of spirit and Europe, the keeper of fire, can then jointly invite to the circle also the keepers of water and the keepers of land and bring the world in a sustainable balance. And here is the second area of engagement, global diplomacy for peace and rule-based agreements to keep the balance alive. One of the great challenges is how to develop a genuine interest on both sides in the diversity that both are bringing to the table and how to accept that different views can coexist without a need for a dominance. That individual and collective can coexist and that only in equilibrium of both lies a peaceful future of humanity. Here is the third opportunity that I can see cultural, social, and philosophical intertwining to better understand each other and build a mutual respect. And that brings me to another topic. To come together based on such uh, terms, we might need to go beyond just understanding. We are invited to go deeper, to search for a new common denominator of humanity a new meaning. I invite you all to refocus our actions on social justice, healing of the planet, and human-centric products and services. I invite us all to move towards the world of a regenerative and circular economy by expanding our minds, hearts, and spirits to create space for an emergence. And here is the fourth area of possibility for our engagement. Let's dream together about the future we want to live. I admit some of the pictures and concepts that are coming out of China are not acceptable for Europeans, European minds. Uh, the social index, for example. And I'm sure that there are some topics that Chinese people find strange about Europe. So let's go beyond what we know about each other today and generate a new narrative. Imagine that instead of focusing, for example, economy, financial markets, industry, energy, transport, which today feels so natural, we focus on beings, communities, land, consciousness, and on dynamic relationships among them with a sole purpose to make them thrive. We're going through the redefinition of the world as we know it. Uh, it is probably a part of a natural cycle with new partnerships and strategic positioning evolving out of that. The next great move I feel will be a change in a civilizational paradigm. I feel it's gonna come from a global sphere, a global consciousness. Let's hope that that will be eco-civilization. Europe and Asia can set the motion and co-shape it along with other global partners. In this case, we will have a natural zone, a new paradigm. We can do it. I know we can do it. So these are a couple of proposals how we can engage together, how we can probably co-create the future of world in a much more balanced and stable way. 
I know we have a capacity. So I'm inviting you to explore it and deliver. You know, after all, we're humans and we got to create ourselves a chance to continue to develop on this beautiful planet Earth. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>